<laughs> oh, good. Uh, the the chunky boys were the uh, the tankier variety. It's a good thing they like don't like the doctor. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's get ourselves some uh some extra uh, stuff to fight with. Um yeah, increase our melee damage to nine. Uh, let's see. Okay. Ooh, 11 for uh, 300 XP. Could probably get that if I take down another one. Take down three of them. Oh. Don't let their don't let the tiny head get to you. They're evil. <laughs> Alright, cool. 53. I think that's enough for me to get the other one. Oh, wait. Oh, 2 XP short. Yeah, this 1, 2, 3 punch is extremely good. When it decides to be good. There we go. Yes. All right, cool. Woo. Almost close to maxing out at 15. Woo. 1,000 XP just for that. Very close. Is that enough? Oh no, I need five more. Okay, at least they're, they're easy enough. I want those jelly beans. Not no more. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Oh, he gets the attack this time. Oh, wow. Yeah, you do not want these guys to attack you a single time. Oh, great. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> Don't panic. We have the TNT. Poisons and actually start helping now. No, he got smart. <laughs> okay. Take this and that. <laughs> How about this? Get a load of this. <laughs> That's nine damage. There we go. I have 56 health. I should be able to withstand one more of those. Uh, 
Oh, okay, good. <laughs> no. Because I win! Ha ja! <laughs> Okay, hold up, hold up. Ah, uh, two more goblins, alright. Ah, oh, great. Wait. Let me see if this will work. Minus his muscle. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I do believe you are screwed. Hmm. It will do a hand. Let's see. Oh, he did. He did do less damage to me, but I got to that a little bit too late. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I only got enough for about forty damage worth. Well, it's been nice knowing you, friend. <laughs> they gave me a whole bunch of softball guys before uh, tossing in the beefy boys like these guys that essentially overwrite my ability. A whole bunch of goblin arms pick you up and pitch you out of the window. I got more angry. Hopefully it doesn't reset. Okay. Let me let me go buy some uh, some TNT. Uh, what was that? Dynamite Dance, yeah. Oh, there's... What's her name? Okay. She's, she's also a store. Oh, let's see. She got to sell some more goblin stuff. Yeah, let's see. Uh, goblin short pants. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Toilet pistol. I really don't need this anymore, so I'm selling it. Got like one more goblin thing. Where is it? Oh, goblin coffee. Oh, and that's stiff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing else. This is goblin on it. I'm going through it real fast. I understand. <laughs> She's got the stuff that you sold her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, that's everything. Oh, goblin skull. Sell that too. Okay, does she have anything new in stock? Oh, she has more dynamite. Good, <laughs> that's good for me. Okay. Okie dokie. Hopefully that's less less expensive than the uh, dynamite Dan stuff over here. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, this one, you could coin flip. Some fuck fuck noise they choose to say. Any one person who has any way is going to catch it, not for you, blah blah. Alright, quite good. Hails. Ooh, talk to it. Um, hello, hello, how are you? I will not your practice taking. Good, yes, good, hello. Why are you, you chopping cactus, cactus down? Why? Well, a lot of uses to build, burning to eating, little toothpicks. <laughs> Attack. Well, that's a tree toy, sir. All right, cool. Just gotta get back to the diet. Oh, beat him up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I couldn't hear you. What was it? 
three. A three? Leave him alone? Yeah. Okay. You decide to leave the goblin to its work. You probably have more important things to do. Intimidated, I guess. Yes, dynamite. Give it to me. Same price. So, okay. There we go. Right, that's enough for me. <laughs> now we can go nuke that place. Probably better about the fungus shrine bomb too. But then again, there might be. No, I'm but... gonna. I'm determined. <laughs> You just take out two more of those guys. All right, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> thwap, thwap, thwap. Let's just hope it didn't reset. Oh, okay. Ooh, wow. I'm really angry. <laughs> Can't take another one of those. Alright. Now it looks like those jelly beans are yours for the taking. You push past the now much smaller goblin pile and grab the jar of jelly beans. You got green, green apple jelly beans. Sorry. Nope. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Alright, good. How you all doing on the jelly beans, kid? You got them. Wonderful. Good job, kid. Looks like they're all here, too. The goblins did eat any? <laughs> it's a long and weird story. Well, never mind then. You've done a swell job, kid. I've only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. <clears throat> they were, they were stole by the gang of damn hippies. Why did you? Heck, who knows what the hippies think? All I know is they took off head south and a little bit west. You found a new map location, Shroom Cave. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Uh, there it is. Oh, she's she's here. No, I'm good. I don't think you have anything new for me that I could I could buy at the moment. Oh, almost, yeah, right. It almost sounds like she's following us. Oh. Howdy, Alice. I remember I had this book about mushrooms with me. You better take a look at it if you're going to be fooling around with these things. The rock ones can mess up about it real bad. Got an item. Mycology and your college. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Sure, don't mention it. Now get out of here. You're coming with. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mario mushrooms everywhere. Ooh. Wait, I should. Read yeah, I should probably read the book here, right? It's a book about mushrooms printed on the paper, which is made from trees, which mushrooms sometimes grow on. It really makes you think. <laughs> you flip through the book and memorize the positions of all the spots on all the mushrooms. You got a perk, Passing Fair Mycologist. After you finish reading the book, you absentmindedly place, misplace it while musing about mushrooms. Yeah. There we go. You recognize this. It's an extremely hall hallucinogenic Lactarius Dirt Hippica. <laughs> yep, got proper tools. Ah. Someone lost a very dirty knapsack. It contains some loose bits of granola and some very, very dirty clothes. Oh, and a map. Mushroom map. 
This is a hand-drawn map covered in grubby fingerprints. Down clock, hippie talk. Oh, hold on one second. I'm gonna see if the stream is loud compared to my voice, or your, my, your voice and my voice, because it is very loud for me to listen to. Hold on. I'm gonna just check real fast. Go ahead and say some things. Uh, something, something, something. Uh, this game is funny. Yes, it is. Uh, I am bad at improv. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is pretty loud. Let me lower that down a bit. Yeah. It is a bit loud. <laughs> I mean, you can still hear us clearly over it, but just, just a, a tad lo uh, less loud would be good. I don't think that was going to be too much of a problem with the Peach game, because the Peach game, I think, was a lot less loud compared to this. So, uh... Anyway, mushroom map. This is a hand-drawn map covered in grubby fingerprints. Uh, this map is labeled Shroom Locations and shows a weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X as this very cave. The source of the trail looks like it's right near that weird fort full of dirty weirdos. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ooh. This cultist is totally zonked out. <laughs> Investigate. The cultist is muttering and twitching in his sleep. Mushroom crumbs litter the floor around him. <laughs> you grab everything that isn't nailed to him. You got an item, skeleton bone, human ashes, and you find a mostly burned scroll. Burned scroll. <laughs> this scroll has mostly been burned beyond legibility, but you can just barely make out something about it. Hell cow energy in between the scorch marks. The scroll is in bad shape and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced that, that this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. You stick the scroll into your journal. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I need the proper tools to get the mushrooms. I do know there's a, uh, a way for you to find where the secret uh, thing is at, but you need to be high enough to do it. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> you mean high as in high up or high as in Stella, Starla? Uh, high as in shrooms. Oh, uh, but I forget. Okay, so less than uh, sparkle energy. Yeah, less than sparkle energy. <laughs> Just normal high. Okay, so there isn't anything here that I can use to pick it up with. What tools do I need, though? I forgot what they were. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we'll have to come back here a little later. Until we do get some some uh, shroom yeah, instrumentation. We gotta get back to later. I don't think we'll remember them all. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we were going to the buffalo pile. <laughs> that was the thing we tried doing. Uh, you see what uh, what you take to be an oasis in the boiling heat of this region and spur willow towards it. Uh, oh, wait, this is a uh, familiar fight here. Oh, it's this guy. Thankfully, it's only one of them. <laughs> yep. Easy peasy. The area would breathe them. Yeah, it still made a thwap sound. <laughs> All right. Boy. It's covered with a bunch of weird cards. Take a look at one. <laughs> Abernet Spider. Yuck. Abyssal Centaur. Bloody Chimera. Vomitus Spider. Aberrant Viscera. Abominable Horse. Oozing Fairy. And Bloody Goblin. <laughs> Duck Sized Chimera. What? <laughs> I think that's just going to go on forever. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, what we got here? It's covered in big beakers. You got an oversized chemical beaker. Oh, blood, milk, ichor, and lemonade. <laughs> lemonade for some reason. Let's 
giant vat of blood. Okay, I think there's a, like a certain combination you have to do, but I need to get some notes for that. Atop the slab, there's a skeleton-shaped indentation with a buffalo skull-shaped indentation where the normal human skull-shaped indentation should be. That's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up in possession of the bones necessary to fill in an indentation. Okay. Ooh. You look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo-human skeleton hybrids locked in here, three to a cell. The keys are hanging right next to the door. You could just let some out if you wanted. But hey, they all look pretty angry. All right, let's, let's try it. See, see our luck. See how we, we fare. Not a grind. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just going to go past this wall and beat you up now. Doesn't matter how much health you have. <laughs> how much health do I have? I can handle one more of those. Mm. Yeah. I can handle one more of those. Okay, and then saw that dude up there into oblivion. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's immune to poison. Of course it would be. Now, how much is that going to give me? 129. You put those buffalo soldiers out of their misery. Ugh, some of them hadn't even finished decomposing. <laughs> Alice survives the scene and jots some notes down in her little notebook. Oh yeah, just come, coming here would probably be like a good farm location for her to get her like a stronger shotgun. Better than the, uh, uh, the army. True, true. Yeah, what do we got here? These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full of buffalo and human bones, carefully sorted. You don't really have anything specific you want to do with human or buffalo bones right now, though. So while you appreciate how organized these guys are, there's not really anything here for you. All right, let's just uh, check it out over here. Ooh, toilets. <laughs> they should really use scented candles in here. Yeah, it would smell awful in here. It's clearly the good toilet. <laughs> that's that's your your favorite phrase. It's a little wooden container filled with reading material. You flip through it and find one book relevant to your interest. You got Advanced Cow Punching, Volume One Seventy. All right, Gore, Bull Stomp, or Learn Ever Vigilant. Mm, I already got three dice open. One. Ooh, gore. Okay. You read all the book's inconvenient truths about goring. Unfortunately, you accidentally gore the book into bits while practicing what you've learned. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. This is clearly the bad toilet. <laughs> Somehow gives you more XP. <laughs> pile of trash next to the bad toilet there's a pile of trash next to the bad toilet and then there's a little slip of pink paper here you got dis uh, discipline slip looks like one of the necromancers cultists got written up two more of these and he'll be ritually ex <laughs> eviscerated <laughs> nothing personal it's just corporate policy you read over the infraction listed on the slip looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms Curious, you s stick the slip into your journal. Oh, ah, we did that out of order. <laughs> and bone rules. Ah, uh, yeah, we should probably increase our stuff here. It's a decent sized wardrobe. Oh, hide in it? Ooh, why? Why would we? It's empty. Skull? Yeah. There's a wicked looking letter bound home on this pedestal. You found an item, Fundamentals of Next Mex. This book contains some basic. Yeah, we had this earlier. It gives you the raised skeletal buddy skill. It's different, but still dangerous. This seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Oh, yeah, I think that's the one that like, lowers your lifespan if you uh, learn it. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, what's over here? Oh, okay. It just goes there. Okay. You hear a lot of activity down the corridor. Chanting, shuffling of robes, clattering of bones. Scary stuff. You really shouldn't go down there. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. Dice roll. I think this is a, a good... Uh, coin flip, actually. Ooh. Tails. Tails. Get out of there! <laughs> Darn. Let's, let's do a loop de loop, I guess. Oh, I got a, quite a bit of XP. Let me. Yeah, I have 609 XP. That built up really fast. Uh, let's see, let's get our save cracking up. Just so we can start getting the, the more um, interesting ones. Uh, normal saves. And crack complicated saves, very sophisticated saves. Uh, you yeah. Can it if you want it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can crack any save <laughs> at a thousand XP. Nice. Okay. Okay, we were just over here, and then they gave me the option to hide in here. You settle in amongst the thick black robes. It's pretty comfortable. Wait. You wait and wait and finally hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists pass through on their way from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't catch much of what they say, but what you do hear is this. Milk after Icker. Might as well try to reanimate Wicker. That's too long to remember. Wait some more. You wait a lot longer and the cultists pass through again. This time you hear something different. Icker before blood. Way to go, stud. Why is Doug having so much trouble with this? You wait a while longer, and the cult has passed through again. This time, you overhear something different. It's milk before blood. Ritual is good. Doug, why can't you get this? Probably because it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> you wait a little longer, and the cult has passed through again. This time, you overhear something different. No, remember the rhyme. Milk after blood. Ritual's a dud. <laughs> You wait longer, and it ends up being blood before Icker. Start with Soldier's Ticker. Okay, is this going to go on forever? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's going on forever. Uh, that's probably the combination for the, um, the thingamajig, but I don't care that much. I thought they would just give you a potion, but it's not. Okay. We are actually... Well, I got it. I guess we need to go back for it. Uh, well, we're gonna have to wait for next week because we are all out of time. Also, yeah, cool. We got cheap wine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I think we got quite a bit done, considering the situation, the stipulations, the everything's. Those guys are still punching each other. And let's uh, let's go to bed. You go to sleep. You dream that you're making out with Alice on a desert island. Somehow, a red-suited dwarf asks you for a light. You wake up drenched in sweat. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> All right, day six. Well, everyone, um, we will see you guys next time for whenever we get into a little bit more shenanigans with West Loathing. Now, for those watching stream, I'm going to take a, a, about a 10-minute break just to rest my voice for a bit, get something inside my stomach, and we will see you guys for the next game. Until then, bye-bye.